क्वेश्चन 161 रिफ्लेक्स एक्शन इवॉल्व्ड बिकॉज ए इट चेक्स ओवरलोडिंग ऑफ ब्रेन बी इट रिजल्ट्स इन क्विक रिस्पोंसेस टू हार्मफुल स्टिमुली बाय रिड्यूसिंग प्रोसेसिंग टाइम सी इट हैज सर्वाइवल वैल्यू सिलेक्ट द ऑप्शन विद करेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशंस ए ओनली बी बट नॉट सी बोथ ए एंड सी बट नॉट बी ए बी एंड सी सो वी लुकिंग फॉर the reasons or the correct explanations that why reflex actions evolved reflex action students are very rapid automatic and they evoke a very short lived response so reflex actions evolved because it checks overloading of brain this is right it does not directly involve the processing by brain in it so quick explanation b it evolved because it results in quick responses to harmful stimuli by reducing the processing time this is also absolutely right and it has survival value this is also correct so all of the given explanations a b and c are correct a only would be incorrect b but not c also would be incorrect both a and c but not b would be incorrect a b and c would be the correct option here so the right answer here is option number 4 question 162 given below is a diagrammatic representation of the cross sectional view of a muscle choose the option that best represents the structure marked x fascicle epimysium endomysium perimysium if we talk about the ultra structure of a muscle fibers then each of these muscle fibers they are enclosed by endomysium which is just next to them and the bundle of muscle fiber which is this and is also our x is called fascicle and each of this fascicle is protected by perimysium and many bundles along with their blood supply are enclosed by a sheath of collagen fibers called the epimysium thus the structure which is marked x here is a fascicle which is among the options option number 1 the correct answer here would be option 1 Question one sixty three. Site of protein synthesis in a bipolar neuron is axon, telodendria, cell body, synaptic vesicles. If we talk about the protein synthesis in a neuron, the nissel granules which are a combination of R E R, that is rough endoplasmic reticulum and ribosomes. they are the site of protein synthesis and they are present in dendrites and cell body of neurons thus they become the site of protein synthesis so they are present in cell body the correct answer here would be option number 3 cell body answer is 3 these nissel granules are not present in axon telodendria or synaptic vesicles so these cannot be the answer the right answer is option 3 question 164 read statements a and b in context of humans a neurons the excitable cells of neural tissue do not divide and increase in number when a child undergoes growth b cells called the structural and functional unit of neural tissue lack centrosome select the correct option statement a is correct and statement b is incorrect statement b is correct while statement a is incorrect statement a and b are correct both statements a and b are incorrect let's look at statement a which states that neurons are excitable cells and they do not divide and increase in number when a child undergoes growth this is correct students neurons lack the property of division and do not divide so statement a is correct statement b reads cells called structural and functional unit of neural tissue lack centrosomes so the cells which are structural and functional unit are neurons 
and they lack centrosome. This is also correct. The centrosome facilitate division. And since neurons lack centrosome, division does not take place. So both statements are right. According to the given options, option 4 would be the correct answer. Answer is 4. Question 165. Choose the correct match. Origin of neural tissue, ectoderm, ions essential for exocytosis of neurotransmitters, sodium, production of stimulus, multipolar neurons, Relaying impulses from CNS to skeletal muscles, autonomic neural system. We are looking for a correct match here. The neural tissue is ectodermal. So this is right. This is correctly matched. Let's look at option number 2. The ions essential for exocytosis of neurotransmitter. Calcium ions are essential for exocytosis of neurotransmitters and not sodium. Production option 3, production of stimulus multipolar neurons. Neurons cannot produce stimuli, they respond to it. So they cannot produce stimuli and that's why it's incorrectly matched. They only respond to it. And lastly option 4, relaying impulses from CNS two skeletal muscles and given autonomic neural system impulses from CNS to skeletal muscles are relayed by somatic neural system so this is incorrectly matched the right answer here would be option number one